my role is a finance role. Um, it's supporting two categories, beverage and Nestle professional. Do a lot of cycling, um, watch a lot of sports, and the same as most other people really, just spending time with friends and family. Kind of always operates on the policy. If, if anyone asked, yeah, then I'd certainly tell them the truth. Over the years, um, told some colleagues. Then when the LGBT plus network was set up, uh, I was very, very clear that I wanted to support that. And basically had a conversation with, with the, the guys in the team, really just so that they understood that if, if, if they saw me sort of involved in those activities, why and why it was so personal to me. Kind of felt I knew them well enough and, and thought they would be supportive and understanding and uh, that's most certainly been the case. Yeah, nevertheless, it's, it's quite a big thing to have that uh, conversation with people you've known for such a long time. In some instances, you also find out something you probably didn't know about some of your colleagues, like if they have relatives or uh, children who themselves have, have come out, there's, there's probably a better personal connection than you, you maybe thought there would be, uh, and more of an understanding. Thinking back to the time when I joined the company, uh, I think the general atmosphere uh, was different. I used to feel uh, at, at Nestle sort of not being able to fully talk about or be, be fully open about my, uh, myself and my, my private life. I think it's the energy it takes up not being yourself um, and how draining that can be at times and sometimes felt where, you know, a little bit alone. When the network was then set up, I, I was quite clear that if there was anything I could do to prevent others being in a situation like that, then I very much, much owed that to, uh, to my colleagues. So my decision was, was actually very easy to make uh, about joining and supporting the network.